How's it going guys and welcome back to yet another tutorial video. Today we're going to be going through Lightroom. I know you guys are probably thinking Premiere Pro or After Effects like the other ones but no no no. Today we're going to be going through Lightroom. We're going to look at some before pictures and some after pictures and just show you how important Lightroom really is. And um, yeah, before we jump into that, I'm a bit cold so um, just hold on, hold on, wait, you ready? Whoa. Mm, we've already done this one, let me try another one. Mm, seen it, next. Mm, I like it, but a bit black. Let me try one more, one more, you ready? Oh. Whoa. Yes, that is a change for once. Now let's get to this video. Whew. Right, so picture number one. This is uh, my first actually ever photo shoot. Um, it was with my cousin in England in the fields. Uh, it's a bit overexposed, but and a bit dark. It's a uh, it's a raw file, so we can really play with those colours as well. Uh, so yeah, let's let's see what we can do with it. Okay, so the first thing I wanted to do was bring down the exposure and then bring up the highlights where it was needed. So I, I played around with the point curve and the whites, the shadows, the highlights, just to kind of get to where I wanted it to be. Once I did all of that, I wanted to bring up the temperature and then really show off the yellow and the vibrance of the picture. Um, I also put a bit of blue in, like a hint of blue, uh, just in the clouds, just to show that depth of field. And then with the color wheel, I do like to spin the colors round uh, on each one, just to kind of find out what works with the photo. So that with this one, I stuck with the warm mid-tones, but then the blue highlights and left the shadows. After that, I just put a bit of grain in there, a little bit of Viennet, just to make my cousin stand out a little bit more. And this is what the before and afters looks like. It's more colorful, I got rid of the high exposure. I think it just works, but I also feel like you could do many different kind of color grading with this kind of picture. Like you could have it vintage, black and white, but this is what I came out with today. And uh, yeah, let's get to the next one. So this is edit number two. I got this picture um, just down at the airport beach. So the plane just flies over the, like the beach when it goes into the airport. So it's perfect, really low. And uh, a lot of people think this is actually photoshopped, but I was there for so long trying to get the angles properly. Uh, the annoying part with the lens ball is, is that it was magnifying the sun, so it kept burning my hand and my sister's hand when we were taking pictures. So we only had a few seconds to do it and we, I had like loads of burn marks all over my hands. Um, but yeah, didn't get sponsored, didn't get any money from Binta Canarias, which is the, the plane right there. So uh, yeah, cheers Binta. So as you can see, the photo actually came out really blue. And the reason being is, is because of the white balance setting I had it on from a different shoot. Um, it had like a blue effect that I should have turned off, but luckily I did shoot it in raw. So I'm able to save this picture and try and bring out the color back by balancing the blue with all the other colors. After that, I just had to brighten up the hands, the plane with a bit of color mixing, and then went to the radial gradient and really sharpened up the lens ball. And there we have it. Those are the before and after pictures. It just goes to show you that you can bring back the colors even when you accidentally put a blue filter on it. So this is picture number three. It is time for one of my favorite pictures. It's actually my sister as well. We went down to Adesifa in the city and we wanted to get like an urban kind of vintage look. Um, so we took the, one of the Polaroids down there and just, yeah, it was just a, I think actually when I took the picture, I just, I was like, quick, Darcy, go over there and just, it, it just came to me. I, d I wasn't even planning this one, but um, you know, the best pictures are always the ones that you don't plan, I, I would say anyways. So we're gonna have a look, see what we can do with this one. All the edits that you see on my Instagram aren't going to be the same that what you see on this video because I'm actually editing them differently today because I just want to see what I can do um, now than what I did back then. So although the pictures may look good back then or they might look better now, so who knows? But we're gonna have a look, see what we can do with this one and compare the, the before and after. And if you want to have a look at what it looked like beforehand, the way I edited it a few months ago, then you can check out my Instagram right here, oh, little Instagram link right there. But uh, yeah, let's get to it, <laughs> let's go. So the first thing I always like to do is an S shape on each RGMB channel, just because it brings out a really strong contrast. And then once I did that, I had to play around with the highlights and shadows just to level everything out. Um, and then I went straight to the colors. I went a bit too crazy with it, but then I thought I could counter that with the color wheel and then play with the highlights and shadows just a bit afterwards. And then after that, I thought I'd brighten up Darcy's eye with a radial gradient again and just give it a bit more color 
Um, and yeah, this is what I came out with. So that's it for this week's video. I really hope you enjoyed this tutorial. I know it's a bit different from video editing, but it just goes to show you that even if the pictures are too overexposed or underexposed, or maybe even too blue, you can actually still save those pictures. So don't delete them, just try and edit them and you never know, it might come out really well. But yeah, so let me know down in the comments if you wanna see more tutorials on how to edit your pictures or how to edit your videos or, or both, whichever. But um, yeah, if you haven't already, hit that subscribe button, maybe give this video a like, and why not share this video to your friends, maybe even to your nan, you never know, she might enjoy it as well. But uh, yeah, I'll see you next week guys, thanks for watching, and yeah, yoop!